come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. Coming at you every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not, in our quest for total world domination, which you can help us out with. By going over to wherever you found us and hitting that like or subscribe button. These are the Internet Radio Superstars. Holly. Michaela. Sean. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by... Sean, what journey did you take us on this evening? Uh, I took us to a, uh, a journey in the woods. A familiar journey, I think. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do we watch tonight, Sean? Uh, we watched Book of Shadows. Blair Witch 2. Ooh, spooky. Sequels. <laughs> sequels. Summer, Summer sequels. sequels. <laughs> Is that what you're doing? Summer sequels? Is that what as of now? right now. Oh, okay. as, as of just this week. This moment. This moment yeah. right. You are correct. The summer lasts uh, this one week, so <laughs> well, enjoy it. if we go no. on? Yeah. So we get to talk about Blair Witch. We can talk about all Blair yeah, Witch. Yeah. Blair Witch Project 2, or sorry, Blair, Blair Witch Project, Book of Shadows, Blair Witch 2, Blair The Blair Witch. Witch. Is that as far as we go? Video yeah. games. No, it's just called Blair Witch. It it's just Blair, Blair Witch. Blair Witch. Yeah. Blair yeah. Witch. That's as far Video as games. There were video computer games. Computer games. I played so, three of them. So <laughs> when? when okay. One. So when did first? When did the Blair Witch Project come out? Nineteen ninety nine. Yes. Mm-hmm. When did this come out? Two thousand. Mm-hmm. One year later. Yes. They Artisan, wow. uh, the company behind this, it was Artisan and Hackson, but Artisan um, wanted a sequel right off the bat, and the original filmmakers. Um, Eduardo Sanchez and Daniel Merrick uh, so did they, not did not want. So they were legit. Like y'all got any more of that Blair Witch? Yeah, yeah. basically. Because it, was such, it was such a big hit. Like yeah. it grossed like three hundred million dollars yeah. yeah. worldwide. Huge. It was Blair Wasn't Witch was huge. a phenomenon. Yeah. Like with the burgeoning internet at this point, and then right. this movie. And Wasn't it the most like t- successful movie of all time until recently? Right it, for a like, while, yeah, like, like against budget, activity or something. Right. Yeah, it was like Halloween, Blair Witch. Yeah, that was yeah. the conversation the most for a while. Horror movie, or I no? I like most budget to movie. yeah, most independent, successful independent movie. Oh, yeah, I think because of budget to gross. gross. I gotcha. Yeah, I can't yeah. remember, but it was yeah. like the first one was made for like three hundred fifty thousand yeah. dollars or something like that, right? Yeah. And then it yeah. grossed, you know, like three hundred million or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, so that was a, yeah. a, a phenomenon. If you take yeah, back yeah, it was like I went to death. It was everywhere. Blair Witch culture like gripped the nation for yeah. what yeah. four I remember, years, five mm-hmm. years, maybe. Felt my, like my dad was going to take me and my brothers to go see it, and we went to the theater that night, and it was everything was, it sold, was sold out. out. Yeah. I had to go back and come back the next well, night to yeah. see it. Okay, so the, that was actually seeing it, but like, how did you hear about it? The internet, my dad. Because my dad, we had just gotten like the first family computer around this time, mm-hmm. and so he he was like very online. And this is around the time where it was just between um, Blair Witch stuff and like Scream Three were like the big internet movies yeah. at the and time. Th- the whole world heard about this movie. Yeah, it was huge. It was everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because there was like, at this time. This was like the height of MTV. We were all rushing home to watch TRL, and it was uh, all over MTV. Yeah, and there know? was the question was still like, is it real? Is it not? Like that yeah. was all big Scariest in the air. Scariest movie of all time. You could get backstory because they were building backstory with this on the internet at the yeah. time. It was well, they did it everywhere. I mean, the marketing on this was fucking br- the original movie the original, was yeah. brilliant yeah. because like you know I was watching like Sundance. Channel Channel, independent film channel yeah. and so it would come up as like it's this phenomenon that sold out at Sundance you're saying you were watching MTV yep. and you're being bombarded with it yes. if oh, you're yeah. on like all movie mm-hmm. websites are talking Covers about of it Newsweek mm-hmm. and everything yeah right. yeah they had, well that was yeah. after it became a yeah, phenomenon yeah. I'm saying leading up to it like how did you hear about this movie because like I knew it was coming out because I saw it I think you know they were talking about it and played at Sundance mm-hmm. yeah and you know it's like so it kind of then I remember there was a sci-fi channel when it was the sci-fi channel documentary, yep. uh, which which you almost have to like, it's like the companion piece to the original Blair Witch Project. I think it's on the DVD. It's like the curse of the Blair Witch. And mm-hmm. it's like this documentary that the guys did. That's all about like the legend of the Blair Witch. Mm-hmm. And it like kind of informs the backstory mm-hmm. of what you're watching in the Blair yeah. Witch. Yes. Project. There are also book versions of that, which I had because I was a big fan of this. So I asked, I, I really dove into it. And so in stuff like what you were talking about in that book, characters like the sheriff in this movie, Cravens, mm-hmm. is a character throughout the kind of the history of this and mm-hmm. this town and everything. Mm-hmm. And they go into the history of Rustin Parr, who is the 
uh, one of the guys who abducted children, Ellie Kedward, who I think was, was the, the witch. witch yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And all the that legend stuff. Of Coffin Rock. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Coffin Rock. Because I think yeah. that was also the PC games, which I had played mm-hmm. because I played a video game called Nocture, which Ooh. had like the stranger who was this gunfighter in a black, you know, fedora and trench coat. And they brought him, like the company had made it. So he was in, he was like the investigator oh. <laughs> in the Blair Witch video game. Ooh, crossover. Bro. Yeah, because there was a Rustin Parr one, there was an Ellie Kedward one, and maybe like a Mystery of Coffin Rock one. Yeah. And then I think years later, like in the last like five years, I think there was like another Blair Witch video game mm-hmm. that came out. I don't know. Probably timed <laughs> around the release of that, uh, the movie. Probably. Yeah. Blair Witch. Yes. Yeah. Which completely, uh, I think everybody was uh, upset with that. Well, who was the, the guy so. oh who made God. that one? That movie, uh, that is Wing- Adam Wingard. Wingard. Yeah. Wingard who then yeah. did like oh, Godzilla. God. Yeah. 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 Godzilla that guy, versus Kong. That guy keeps failing upwards, and I've had enough of that guy. <laughs> you know really, what? I'm tired really of does. him. And that movie. How the fuck do you get a Godzilla movie out of this? Right. And, and Blair Witch 2016 personally offended me because I got screener tickets to that through a source where I had to like have my cell phone taken and had to sign an NDA oh, when I watched the movie. The woods? Yes. And <laughs> and and then it's a piece of shit. I, I went through all this rigor and I had to drive into the city, had to give up my phone, I had to sign all this shit, and I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm gonna be first to see the new Blair Witch. I'm so excited. And then oh. it was a Big so you, pile of shit. It was a Blair Witch. <laughs> yeah. Or did you just know it as the woods? Well, that was like the But whole... when it was going around as the woods, it was but, is it yeah. going to be the new Blair Witch movie? Oh, yeah. was it? Okay, because I remember like the woods is a game changer and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then it was like, oh, it's a game changer and it's marketing. Yeah, right. That exactly. basically we told right. you it was one thing. Everybody yep. goes into the theater. It's like, hey, it's a Blair Witch sequel. When you come out, all the posters, all the posters, posters the got changed. Yeah. Been changed. So it's for one audience. Yes. Yeah. Everybody that else like, got Well, that was like the part. announcement of <laughs> yeah. this is what it is now. Which, Probably but, like a week before it came out in theater, or maybe a couple weeks before it came out in theater. But, yeah. I, but I've seen better movies like at screening premieres that had less rules. You know what I'm saying? Like, I went and saw uh, The Disaster Artist and they didn't give a shit about anything. They didn't make it, you know, and that was a way better movie. Like, so, like, to me, it's like the audacity of this movie to be, like, so uptight about how it's, like, handling these screeners and then to be this bad. Like, wow. It is unfortunate wow, that, wow, they, wow. that they used a, a really good marketing tool yeah. on a movie yeah. that did that not was terrible. Oh, exactly. The, the techniques, the campaign behind it. Like, love I, I love, love it. the marketing yeah. for it. Like, great. Uh, surprise, it's a Blair Witch. I was right. like, that's genius. That's I love great. it. That got that's me to great. go see the movie. Yeah. And, and then, that movie commits like a cardinal sin, in my opinion, by showing the witch on screen. Like, that's really does. not yeah, okay. That. That's not yeah. okay. I remember there was it's like not... one good scene that involved like uh, a tunnel. Somebody, yeah, in a tunnel. That, that, that scene yeah. gave me like a panic yeah, attack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, and yeah. that, but that had nothing to do with the player, which was just regular old claustrophobia. Like, that yeah. was just a normal, everyday mm-hmm. thing. Wow, and their drone usage in that movie was very yeah. annoying. There's a few. You guys know you can like stream moments. in the woods, no problem. Like live stream oh, yeah. Wi-Fi from deep in the woods. <laughs> yeah, it was like, ooh, we got modern technology yeah. now. Yeah. We're yeah. the Blair Witch. Time travel involved. Time well. travel. They yeah. they lose a lot of time in well, that movie. Well, that's like part of the mythology. I think of Blair, the Blair Witch mythology is like there's time travel like you don't actually know what time period the characters are in like apparently yeah. in the first one they are actually in a different time period they've mm-hmm. gone through like a dimensional portal and because at some point they find the Rustin Parr house which is told you know at the right. beginning of the movie they say it was torn down or burned down there it is but they find it and like oh shit it's a house that's does, why you're like oh my god does that this is ex- creepy as fuck does that explain the 1940s nurse in this movie yeah <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought it was gonna be revealed she was a ghost or something because I, I was like that would make maybe sense maybe they're just shifting out of yeah. that, <laughs> that time travel temporal sort of area where they're just like if you wander the woods you're gonna end up back in witch time yeah, and yeah. when's the last time you saw the Blair Witch Project uh, probably like two years. Yeah, I would say probably two. I've within seen the it past exactly years. one time because it gives me motion sickness. Oh, <laughs> no, it's a good no. movie. It's a no. fucking good movie. It, it is. Movie. That's movie. what I was going to ask. Where do we stand? It's fucking on awesome. I love I've seen enough. Movie. I've seen enough clips to remember the movie, and yeah, yeah it's still a great movie. It's I, I just and think terrifying. About, just it if is. nothing else, the most terrifying thing is them yelling for Josh. Yeah. Yep. Tell me where you are, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> it really for was me, scary. Yeah. For me, it's her opening the bundle of sticks. That oh, I yeah, can't. And her, re- her reaction oh, to that, yeah. and just yeah. like I think there's a tongue in there, <laughs> yes, but she's yeah. too afraid. Yeah, to, yeah. It's and she's so like, good. it's yeah, really it's, scary. Oh, it's so, so good. I know. It, mm-hmm. I think like 
the horrifying scene stick so freshly with me in that movie that that's what keeps me from re- rewatching it. It's like I'm good. I remember the I remember the spooky stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or yeah. the the first night where they're like the tent. Somebody comes up. Yes. And oh, the tent. oh my god. She gets out and they run away. She's like, what the fuck is that? Because okay, that's touching on like a primal yeah. thing, right? Because yeah. like You're just in the woods. Yeah. So camping is like the most vulnerable thing you can do, right? To like yeah. go out because anything can walk up to you. Yeah. And like a tent is not going to protect you from well, anything. This is a good question. Maybe have all of us been camping? Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Okay, so so if I so yeah. like because that's I I noticed that there were there were people who went to see like even in the theater I saw the Blair Witch Project several times mm-hmm. with several different audiences because nice. I, I was interested in the movie that much and I remember like vocal audio you know, some of them it would work and then like on another audience it wouldn't and you had people who were like this movie's a piece of shit it's not scary at all blah 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 and I'm like okay so what's going on there it's like mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. to some folks it is reading as like terrifying and i'm like i wonder if it was like you have to have that experience of like being out in the woods maybe alone or being camping and so then you're kind of adding you know you're bringing your own uh insecurities of you know being in the dark yeah because i mean if you really think about like tent camping you are basically just like hoping for the best right you're just Mm. hoping that like this this piece canvas is going to be good enough you know like but really it's 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 luck and you know and not and there's no skill involved and it's just that's such a vulnerable thing to put yourself in mm-hmm. and even in even under good circumstances but to go out in the middle of the fucking woods where you don't even know where you are yeah. and do Hopefully this, this thin is, piece oh. of whatever stops this bear yeah exactly mm-hmm. being, inter- <laughs> being interested in or me. even like you don't know who could come ar- who could come around yeah the and you're woods, right the woods are still the scariest <laughs> fucking so scary. place yes. to be Stay mm-hmm. out of the as far woods. as i'm like, concerned oh, yeah, it's because, a Canadian thing right jason have, lives there yeah you know, right? and it's just yeah. fucking <laughs> dark right and yeah. like when you're in, when you're in tent too you have no visibility of what's around Nothing. you but they, everyone can see you but you can't mm-hmm. see yeah, anything yeah, that's literally anything could come upon you i know you're out in the woods and a dude yeah. yeah, you turn your light off. And, I mean, it's yeah. darker than Ugh. anything's ever oh, been God. dark before. And, <laughs> like, you know that there's stuff, like, out there, like, yeah. feet from you. Yeah. Living yep. things. I feel like we talked about this a lot on our Significant Other episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The, camping the, the camping anxiety. anxiety. Camping, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, okay, so who's the, we didn't say, who's the director on this movie? Mm. Uh, Joe Berlinger. And how do we know Joe Berlinger? <laughs> Joe Berlinger is coming right off his, um, uh, what was it called? Um, Paradise, Paradise Lost. Lost the killings at Robin Hood Hills. Yeah, yep. which is had uh, he done the second one? Not yet. There's three no, of those. There's three right? of those. So what are those? So the first one came off. It's it's about the three boys who were killed in Robin Hood Hills. Um, and he makes a documentary about a really it's a it's a great documentary. It's a fascinating documentary. It's a disturbing documentary. It starts right off with because it's about child murder. Yeah, mm-hmm. three kids who were murdered in the woods. And um, but to clarify, we're talking real documentary. Yeah. Real yeah. documentary. Right. So you would know this is the West That's Memphis, Memphis Three. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I was like, so, I feel like we should clarify yeah. that, considering we're talking about Blair Witch. <laughs> right, and, well, right. And but how, that's, we, and yeah, how that's we go where back I want to go with this. Between yeah. the real and fake in this movie. <laughs> yeah, from the guy who did this. Okay, yes. but that's the thing. So, like this guy. I mean, I guess I'm trying to get inside the headspace of Joe Berlinger yes. accepting his first, I think, major narrative film uh, studio yes. project. He pitched it to artists and they were like, nah, we don't like your idea for your first feature film. Here's three scripts that we'd like to turn into the next Blair Witch Project. How do you feel about that? And he's like, okay, that'll be it. But he had some different ideas going into the movie of what he wanted. Artisan wanted a, uh, a, a standard horror movie as far as Blair Witch goes. And uh, Joe Berlinger kind of wanted to go against that. I mean, he's been in the documentary game for a long time. He continues to be. He's if only any, directed two movies. Any true crime documentary you've watched in the past 20 years, he executive produced. Yes, directed. anything yeah. on literally Netflix, anything. he's yeah. been literally in charge anything. of it. And he also the did Ted the... Bundy tapes, yeah. all, mm-hmm. every single... He's mm-hmm. at every horror convention in the area. Too. But he also mm-hmm. did... Didn't he do Some Kind of Monster, the yes. Metallica documentary? I, so, yeah. I, I mm-hmm. watched that. that he's he heavily did. involved with Metallica, yes. Yeah, because they did the the music. The One of the songs was like the theme, yeah, basically, for, for Paradise, Paradise Lost. Lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those documentaries were super compelling. Yeah. I mean, oh. I remember watching yeah. them and yes. being like... And then eventually, we know now through history, like those three kids... It's Damien Eccles. Damien Eccles, and I forget the other two. They've been, like, released. I don't know if they've been exonerated for this, but the they whole... Signed, they took an Alfred plea, yeah. which is an a Alfred plea, special yes. exception. Which is what, you plead guilty to it, but then you're but, out. But you're expunged, yeah, and yeah. released, yeah. But yeah. the it's idea... It's a very rare thing. The very. idea of these documentaries are, right, because these three kids uh, 
looked different as far as like they dressed goth, you know. Yeah. Uh, they were very. His kid called himself or was named Damien, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they were into the occult, kind of as like a pop culture version of the occult, right? Mm-hmm. When these three kids turn up dead in the forest. They're blamed because the entire town, and this is like Arkansas or something like that, right? It's, Was it it's the, the the South? It may even be in uh, West Virginia. Yeah, they and there's this whole thing of like it's I just mean, it's like Memphis. well, they're they're like, obviously it's Memphis. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was like, yeah. I was like, there's really? West, it's West Memphis. No, Memphis? it's West Memphis. What's so Tennessee? Memphis. Tennessee. Is it Tennessee. Tennessee. Okay. Um, I was like, am I missing something? Yeah, no, it's Memphis, right. Tennessee. That's that's why I said Memphis. Memphis. <laughs> no, it's the West Memphis, okay. obviously. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, you know what I'm saying? The the That it's like the town basically uh, says these kids, because they're into the occult, are guilty of this murder. So right. it's like it's the populace versus these kids. We don't know. You know, when you're watching the thing, you know, like, you know. We maybe no they idea. did do it, you know. Mm-hmm. Maybe yeah. they didn't. I don't know. But there are characters in that thing. Yeah, but I mean, I guess that's it's like where does Joe Berlinger stand on like the subjects that he's documenting? Obviously, he was interested enough in the case to follow it and make three movies and keep making the. I think um, didn't Peter Jackson make a like a big budget West Memphis three documentary? Did he? I think it was I more like so. a movie. Yeah. There was Wasn't the it like Naomi there Watts or someone yeah. famous The Devil's it? Not with Reese Witherspoon. Yeah. That, no, that's the yeah. fictional one. Yeah. That's the fictional yeah. one. But, yeah. but Peter Colin Jackson Colin Firth, yeah. was like, you know, there was a lot of Did celebrity he? people who were involved in trying have. to get them out, and he made a documentary. Um, right. So I guess, and I think like this is just a weird position to be in. It if is. you're If you're making a real life, true life, you know, series... Where these kids are like, because they look like they're into the occult, they must be murderers. Mm-hmm. To then accept a movie where the supernatural does make kids who are dressed up as the, you know, like they're into the occult into real life murders. Yeah. Right. You know, it's like, <laughs> there's a whole lot of real life blending with art like in this. Art movie. imitating life, imitating art. It really yeah. is. But Truly. is it okay? <laughs> I don't know. It, it, that seems to me like it's shaky ground for yeah. the guy who directed those movies to do Blair Witch 2. Yeah, it's it's that's an like, odd choice. That's like OJ's book, If but, I Did It. But, yeah, it really is. Yeah, but I, I, I assume they would they would gravitate towards Joe Berlinger because he did do the documentaries. And, and this it's is a, a found sequel. footage movie. Right. right. And there, is, there is found footage in it, but it's also, you know, a kind of... Not a straight narrative, but there is narrative, you know, regular film elements yeah. in this. But yeah, that you would gravitate towards the guy who who made this stuff and continues to make this stuff to make this. It is, uh, especially looking back on it now, it's so it's so odd and weird and how history kind of forms in that way. And it's also odd, like, uh, I mean, you were just looking at, we have the DVD uh, in front of us. Oh, yeah. We have a DVD CD combo, Colin, yep, yep, that yep, you yep, can, yep. that, that we, I'm gonna, you just don't get things like I'm gonna this I'm going to venture anymore. out and see you got that from Disc Replay. I'm mm-hmm. going to, I'm going to, uh, yes. I <laughs> bought mine when it was new, damn it. I bought it off the store shelves at Media Play. Remember Media Play? Oh, the yeah, I love Media Play. Media Play. Yeah. Um, this is the best but, store. But they're in there. Uh, you have the original catalog from Artisan yes. showing all of the creative Blair Witch merchandise. So I mean, I that love kinda, when it came with merchandise. It's like <laughs> the, the phenomenon was so crazy. So See, that look, on this the second, is there a website movie? I mean, sure. Well, there, it was BlairWitch.com. They got the rights to it because that was wow. how the original guys tried to pitch the movie as like a real thing. Right, yeah. I mean, look at this. Uh, uh, the Massacre of the Burkittsville 7, the Blair Witch Legacy, includes two full-length features, Shadow of the Blair Witch and the Burkittsville 7. Look, look at this extended universe. Yeah. yeah. VHS and the, shit. And what were the, the, the trinkets you can get? Of course, we're selling get. Paradise Lost as well. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? Wait, 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 what does the top of the page say? What's the... Uh, satisfy your Blair Witch appetite. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Buy, <laughs> satisfy your Blair Witch appetite by Paradise Lost. Yeah. <laughs> the documentary about the children being murdered. Which also <laughs> seems skeevy as hell. It does yeah. indeed. But there's He's friendship shady, bracelets with the murdered children's handprints. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Sean and I are going to get matching friendship yeah. bracelets. Yeah. <laughs> this would be great. I would get one free. <laughs> It is. Yeah. Yeah, we'll split it yeah. for ten dollars. Yes. Oh my god! There's, there's, of course, there's candles. Uh, We're gonna have to put pictures of this on, on social media yeah, so yeah, people yeah. can see. From, uh, from, <laughs> oh my god! Just look at the Rune of Thorns. So, so, I mean, yeah. I mean well, but, I want but the runes, candle. Runes were part of this as yeah. well. Yeah. 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 
Now, I'm not saying that that's <laughs> unusual for there to be merchandise. Oh, no, it used to be the thing. I right. wish it was the thing the way it used to be, man. It hardly yeah, do every, it at all anymore. Every DVD release used to come with a little pamphlet where it was like, you could buy something for it. With yep, some mark a little tie in. Yep. I miss cross promotions. Yeah. I want it uh, everywhere. But this, okay, so, but I'm, I guess what I'm having a struggle with is the Blair Witch Project seems an unlikely type of movie to have like a bunch of tie in merchandise to it. Right? <laughs> yeah. So, like, yeah. We're gonna, yes. <laughs> considering. Because I guess that movie at the time to me felt like a movie that was meant to end up on the independent film channel that somehow blew up into the public mm-hmm. consciousness. Right. And then everybody was like, what is this new type of, you know, uh, this a movie experience? Of which I remember it. sitting there going like, well, it's like somebody made a horror version of Cops. <laughs> you know? <Yes. laughs> which is a good pitch for it. Um, like, I'm in. <laughs> cameras always running away from... There's always a chase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. But you believed the video. I guess that was the big thing that it yeah. did. It was like it made the supernatural seem more real because it was using the format that you associated with reality TV. Yes. You know, or in a whatever. way, and especially in a, in a time where we didn't know what you could do with that, mm-hmm. whether you could affect it, change it, alter it. When you saw a video, you're like, that's reality. Yeah, it reads as reality. Yes. Okay, so that's also a point that he tries. So. I guess that's one of the things I want to I want to ask yeah. about is uh, his uh, if it's video it's real and if it's film you can't believe it right that is that is, is the thought that, process that he went into this movie with yes. okay and then the other one is um, just like okay so we got the Blair Witch Project mm. which is this indie you know spooky story one of the greatest movie ghost stories probably that you know time will say has ever been made right. Um, how does how do you people? follow that up? How do you follow that up? And so he goes the way of how does that hysteria? It's recognizing, which I think is great for this. It's recognizing what the Blair Witch Project was and kind of the uh, hysteria around it, the momentum it had as far as that. And it's lo- part of this movie is looking at how that would affect people or fans or people, you know, because people did go to Burkittsville after the Blair Witch came out, right? To to, That's to true. visit, to yeah. See, yeah, yeah, to see, you know, what kind of what the reality was around this project. So they're basing those elements of it off of real life. People who believe this stuff was real, even though it is revealed that it is not, but um, and kind of the fandom or that blew up around it. So this is going to be a movie. It's a meta movie. It's a movie that yeah. takes place about the fandom around the original movie. Now we're saying the Part original movie, and this is like. A real like uh, like there was there a real Blair Witch haunting? I guess they're saying that the 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 movie exists and it's true. I think found they, footage. Well, I think they say the movie. Ooh, do we for does this movie say that the Blair Witch Project was a film and didn't really happen? That's what I say. This movie says. Well, that's the argument at the beginning of the movie. Right. Is certain people in town are like, that's not what our town's about. It's not a real thing. It's a movie. Right. And then other people are like hardcore and then, believers. And then Jeffrey Donovan's like, I, I, I believe you, man. Who? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Jeffrey Donovan's in this movie. Get out. Burn From notice. Burn notice. <laughs> <laughs> he's also been in like Fargo and a bunch of other stuff. He's yeah. a good actor. Yeah, he's he been, I like Jeffrey Donovan. career. You yeah. know, like, uh, I guess, you know, when I saw this. I didn't peg really any of them. Well, I thought maybe Erica Learson would go on to do other stuff. Yeah. And I think I've only seen her. She was in the Texas Chainsaw yeah. Massacre remake. I think I've seen her in a lot of television, but as far as movies go, those are the two I remember. Yeah, but Jeffrey Donovan was the guy who like hit the pay dirt after Blair Witch 2. He survived it. And, he did. Uh, yeah, I don't know that the other uh, set did. So we got who are our characters and who play them? We have uh, this is the easy one because it's easy all their because names. they're all their yeah, first names, yeah. yes. <laughs> which is the thing they carried over from the first one. Yep. Uh, uh, Jeffrey Donovan plays Jeff. He is uh, a former mental institution occupant, uh, <laughs> and he's also head of the uh, Blair dot com um, uh, souvenir yeah. store. Yes, and he's also started his own tour, <laughs> BlairWitchHunt.com. <laughs> which okay, better name than the other one. Better name than the other one. I Better agree. name. Yes. What was the other one? Blair Witch. Uh, Walk. Walk. Yeah. yeah. No, no, we want hunt. The witch hunt pun is yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, it works yeah, yeah. well. Yes. I like yeah. it. Exactly. Yeah. He he had he had that going for him at least. He did. <laughs> I like his better. I love this character. He's, I think he's great. Why so? so? Because yeah. because it's it's real. Like it's like this type of guy exists. You know, mm. he's Mike. He's making his money off of this idea, and you know, he's he's it's a cash grab in the town he lives in. Yes. And like. I believe this character. Yes. You know, 
Did this I feel d- very Wisconsin Dells for you guys? It does. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. It does. Like, he might as well take them out on a duck, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. like he basically no, does here's, with his Jeep I will tell you exactly why I love this so much. Mm. Because in Wisconsin Dells, my friend and I got tickets to, like, a ghost tour thing. Of course. We thought it was an actual, like, here's the spooky things that have happened in the Dells, and yeah. here's the rumors. No, it was a fucking haunted house. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Dells for you, man. Yeah. yeah. So like, like, like a... a uh, around Halloween time, haunted house like, like people in masks jumping out to scare me. Okay, yeah. in the summer, the, the, the <laughs> yeah, in the, in the dead heat of summer. Yeah. And, the, and, to it scare was, you. and it was outside in like caverns of Wisconsin. Oh, oh. God. in the so, dells, literally in the yeah. dells. Yeah, so there's like small spaces, and there was bats, and I was Ooh, I, that's I, spooky. I, like, like I, my friends heard my fear scream. They heard oh, it. Kind of like like I it peed out. a little. <laughs> it was it was not a good night. That's always fun. But that's yeah. why that's what I thought of watching this. I was like. This is the Wisconsin Dells. This yeah, guy right here does. sold me those tickets. This guy would thrive in Wisconsin he Dells. Would. Oh, yeah. He yeah. would. He'd be a, a staple and be like, yeah. oh, yeah. Go you got to go, go, go see for, Jeff. You got to go find Jeff. The best. Yeah. He'll know, one F. He's yeah. only got yeah, one yeah. F in his name. I was, F, legit, I was legit thinking, you know what? I would have rather gone on this tour with Jeff than gone to that fucking haunted house situation. Yeah. Ghost boat. Well, yeah. what, so what's his tour and who goes along on it? Because I guess that's the the engine for the movie, right? True. He's got a tour. To the original Blair Witch filming locations. He does. And so the characters that who are who have jumped on board for this tour are kind of, they're all coming from different areas. Some are... Uh, they're all stereotypes. They really are. Kim, <laughs> Kim, Kim, Kim director, is she is the, the goth who is, what is her purpose? She's trying to, she has some sort of ESP mental yeah, ability. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, her total purpose for going on this is, I don't know. What just, is She thought the channel. movie was cool. She thought the movie was cool, okay. technically. Yeah. Um, there is uh, Erica uh, Learson. Learson. Who, she's a Wiccan. She's a Wiccan. Your so, 90s Wiccan. Not old. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The most 90s of 90s. Yeah. Like, yeah. She's also adopted this, um, Wiccan, this yeah. idea of persecution yes. that, because she is yeah. a Wiccan yeah, 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 witch. Yeah. Yes. Which yeah. is her whole thing throughout this movie. Her character drove me absolutely up yeah. the fucking wall because it was like just like calm. It's yeah. like, I, oh, like oh no, like, those are actually like positive. Uh, she adopted this on... lifestyle two years ago. <laughs> exactly. And now she's like, I'm being persecuted. We, we, we are all being knew persecuted. A girl like this, or at least one, right? Yes. Like we all went to high school with a girl like this mm-hmm. or whatever. Like they go away for a summer and they discover mm-hmm. crystals and they come back like this. You <laughs> know, I, fucking wicked. Yeah. I would have been this girl if I hadn't been so young when the craft came out. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> she's very crafty. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She's but this character. Feels like such a time capsule of yeah. this period of time, yeah, right? Yeah. Like this oh, exact sure. version of it. For and sure. I loved, I loved the time capsule stereotypes of these these people. That is what's yeah. fun yeah. about this movie because it did come out in two thousand. You really are getting a time capsule mm-hmm. of the time, especially because it's a horror movie and what elements they're trying to do here. Right. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> we also get the uh, the couple who is there to do research because uh, one of the the husbands writing a book. Um, but they're also, um, you know, uh, they're writing, uh, doing a bunch of other stuff. Uh, like I said, a bunch of research. This on is Stephen and Tristan. Tr- Stephen yeah. and Tristan. And yes. the book's yeah. called what? It was uh, Blair, Blair Witch Hysteria or, and or oh, history, uh, uh, hysteria yeah. or history. Yes, yeah, that yeah. is the correct word. And, and, they're, and they're arguing; it could also be history or hysteria. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, they hate each other from the minute. Oh, jump, oh yeah, right. Like, like they, he, these he, two. He definitely hate slapped her once, yeah. and I'm like, I'm sorry, I went yeah. too far. Like that, 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 no, definitely. <laughs> Wouldn't it? Be, these two would be the fucking worst to get stuck We're, on this thing with. Yeah, like not only does he suck. But like all the stuff with her later on. But even yeah, you remove all the horrible trauma she goes through. This yeah. guy's awful. Like this guy's yeah. just the fucking worst. So, I couldn't wait for But her to his be character movie. type, right? He's gonna be so uh, uh Erica is the one who wants to go and commune with Ellie Kedwood, yes, mm-hmm. the she spirit of Blair Witch. She'll be my mentor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, so these two are representing rationality, right? Yes. They're the ones who are the trustworthy. They're going to go like, there has to be a rational explanation <laughs> several times yeah. throughout the yeah. movie. And uh, rewind the tapes. Yeah, I think that's <laughs> it, right? That's our, our four. We have five. I think so. Three and then five. other characters come in and go out. Right. But they, are the these, are the, these are going on the Blair Witch Hunt. Okay. Yes. And so off to the woods of uh, Burkittsville. Burkittsville, they go to find the, uh, I guess it's the foundations of the Rustin Parr house. Right. Yes. Yeah. Now, this is uh, through our history that we know. This is the area where the original Blair Witch footage, the 16 millimeter film cans and the tapes were found. Yes. Here. Okay, so that's where they're going to go party. Mm-hmm. 
party. Yeah, party. Okay, party. so yeah. fucking party. This, yeah. I guess that's the thing. It's like I'm irresponsible. I'm kind of curious what they were all exactly going for. It's like you know, are we going here to actually see some kind of supernatural yeah, phenomenon? That's, 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 yeah, that, yeah, that's what we need to dive into. Yep, but this I have a major problem with. Especially, I love this. Yeah, yeah. especially because like we were saying, like the uptight guy and his his uh, girlfriend or fiance, yeah. whatever. She, like they're kind of serious about it. You know, they're like l- wanting to gather actual research and experience. Yes, they have, yeah. le- they have it, folders and files yeah, and papers have files and pictures and, and, and paper have a, clips. They have a deadline. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they've, got, they've got somewhere to be. Like, yeah. They do not seem like people that are going out there to party. They want results. Yeah. They, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, Michaela, tag in here because I'm just, just like baffled by this. I Well, I guess my thing is more on like what is the point of this tour? Is yeah. like Colin, like you're saying, is it to see ghosts and see like evidence of the Blair Witch have something right. happen to you? What is the goal of this tour? Anyone that's been on a ghost hunt knows when you go to the ghost hunt, everyone's quiet. Everyone yeah. listens. Yeah. Everyone has recorders out. Right. They don't have a boombox playing Nickelback. Like, this no, is a problem. The, okay, maybe you what, don't. Well, what, nobody does. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a general ghost hunting question. Yeah. Oh. Like, when you, there's so Where's many of these Nick? shows, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I there's, ghost hunts. There's, oh. We don't need Nick. I'm so, oh, right. <laughs> Dad, please don't fight. Um, there's so many of these like ghost hunting shows and stuff, and so many of them like when shit goes wrong, they get scared and run away and leave. And I'm like, what did what did you want yeah. to happen? Right. Yeah. You That's wanted to experience right. something, right? But right. It's, it's the it's the limit litmus test, right? It's like how far can you actually go before you? It's like sticking your hand I, in the, uh, the, the box. box. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. In Dune, right? It's like somebody got to pull but it out. But see, that's what I don't understand because that's I've, what I don't get. I've yeah. Actually, I've actually been on ghost hunts, and I'm the person that's like, no, shut the fuck up. Somebody just heard something. Right. Yeah. I'm like, I want to hear it again. No, I came here yeah. to see a fucking ghost. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. want to see it. I want to know if it's real. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This this isn't a game to me, Jennifer. <laughs> but they, they always seem so surprised by seeing things, and I'm like, right. "Was this not the whole reason you came?" Yeah. Like, yeah. and now you're. I like turned around know. to my friend. I'm like, "Did you? Just I touch don't my, get it. Did you just touch my hair?" And she's yeah. like, "No." And she like ran to the other room. I'm like, well, <laughs> yeah. "Okay, run away." But I want to know what touched my hair. Yeah. Like, you have a soft touch. Okay, I don't so understand what would, ghost hunting culture? Well, would the movie it. have been different if that's actually what we got? Instead, it seems like Jeff is the only one who brings a bunch of uh, recording equipment. He does. Right. Like, if anything comes and visits us, we're gonna have. He a video does, of it. but he, then he also brings weed and booze. And, and, and yeah. it's, it's, he sets it up, and then immediately it's like we're all hanging out, getting to know each other, and we're gonna get blackout drunk. Yeah, that's- like it's not the the surprise these people have the next day. Does not match their actions no, of the previous right. night. We lost so there, much time. Well, there, yeah. There are, there's a montage, a five minute montage of these people getting wasted. Okay, and like five hours is not that long when you You're did lucky. as much no, stuff be as like you're 10 hours. lucky. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, you guys fell asleep for five hours. You should go back to sleep because that's not long enough. Your you guys must be exhausted. You're probably still drunk, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Seriously. No wonder why yeah. you're seeing yeah. things. You're still delirious. Yeah. Well, I suppose there's one thing that we missed. So you did oh. say that. Uh, Jeff uh, had uh, his prior... uh, Uh, He had been in a hospital, as he mentions in his video earlier. We Mm -hmm. do start to get, before the even uh, title comes up in this movie, we get flashbacks to him in a mental institution. We get a lot of cutting back and forth between different types of flashbacks. We do. A lot of this was not... um, Joe Berlinger fought with the studio as far as what parts of that to include in this all yeah. the gore and all that stuff was an afterthought that were added that were forced in by that the makes studio sense. Mm-hmm. he wanted to kind of go in more um uh let's say philosophical route or uh-huh. more ambiguous as to where it went yeah. at the end and the studio was like no we need to add these parts earlier we want a horror movie so they right. added well the to the studio's credit stuff. right i actually do think that the first act of this movie is its strongest asset because of the way that it it does that thing that I think, like, maybe it is like a fallback editor's choice, mm. but it shows you images of gory violence, and yes. you're like, okay, where's this Where's this coming from? Mm-hmm. Like, we know there's some kind of foreshadowing happening, but then it also gives you shots. It cuts away to, like, moments where each of the characters are being interrogated in a police station, mm-hmm. Yes, right? So we know that they're involved in something bad mm-hmm. is going to happen. It's like, because when you first see it, it's like, it's Jeff. And you're like, well, who else is dead? Then you get like, you know, another one. And you're like, okay, so who who's not appearing in these, right. you know, yeah. interrogation scenes? Yes. Um, they meet a, so I guess that, that rhythm 
of kind of flash forwarding yeah. and doing that foreshadowing get, kind of intrigues you, you yeah. know? Cause it's what, like it's the four different ones. It's, we get flashbacks of Jeff in the mental hospital. We get the flashbacks or like the flash forwards to the police station. Yep. And, and the then murders. like, and then the weird cut ins of the murders happening. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Are those yeah. the three that we get? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and I guess there's such a focus on his like, you know, torture in, I mean, it reads as torture. His, a uh, time in this asylum where they uh-huh. force feed him, they shove you know a tube down his, his nose and into his stomach while they're smoking. They, while they're smoking, yeah. gotta love them. They hose him off in the you know a yeah, humiliating yeah. Uh, shower sequence, yeah. and uh, then he's seen like drooling. And so all of this is supposed to put you in the mindset. I think that like Jeff is like, well, he's unbalanced, and he probably right did it you know no matter mm-hmm. what is going to happen mm-hmm. in the rest of this movie, it's right. like he's the guilty party. And then I'm like, by the end of the movie, I'm like. I don't see what that really had to no, no. what bearing that head on anything except going like, look at Jeff, yeah. keep your eye on Jeff. Where later he seems like the most sane of right, them yeah. all, the most like rational, <laughs> yeah. level-headed of them all, and charismatic, and you know seems to be you know well socialized with other right. people. Right, he seems like, to be doing all what's right. What's wrong with him? He has a few weird ideas, and he does run. I know a, Erica a, a comes witch off hunt crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Jeff just seems enthusiastic. Yeah, right. <laughs> With a side of maybe going a little too far. But. Yeah. Uh, so there are, before Act 1 is over, uh, while they're at the Rustin Parr uh, Foundation, where apparently there's a deal made about there's a big tree right, in yeah. the center of the foundation that he points out, like, you know, what, is a house built around a tree? This is stupid. It'd be growing up through the living yeah. room. So we know, like, oh, it's a haunted did, tree. Where did this tree come from? I've seen that before. Is that part of the Blair Witch mythology hanging tree? Is the tree she was tied to or something like that? Is that what it's supposed to be? Yeah. Sure. That the kids came up and put their hands on her or whatever. And sure. Was out I mean, in the that's woods. what they say, okay. but I didn't know if that was, like, yeah. a thing. But yeah. they meet a second tour group <laughs> yes who comes out and they're also this is the blair witch walk kids and they're like you know hey we were supposed to be here and yeah there's and two stoners running the tour and then two chinese uh um tourists. tourists and then another german tourist and they they artfully uh misdirect them to go to coffin rock yes. which is another part of blair witch mythology indeed uh and so leave us alone for the night and so that's basically oh and i think our ethos uh our, the theme is spoken here because uh, Jeff's recording everything, and he says, "Videotape never lies." He he, he basically he says the exact thing he, uh, that, um, like you said, the ethos that Joe Berlinger went in, like a uh, uh, video doesn't lie, thirty five millimeter does. He basically says that exact thing. And this is supposed to be a meta comment on the movie itself, so yes. we can't trust anything that actually looks like a movie. Yes, but if it's on video. That's what actually happened because we're going to warp reality because it's a Blair Witch movie. Mm-hmm. All right. Act two. The next mm-hmm. morning. <laughs> the, we wake up to snow. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's documents. Yeah. Raining my work. On them. This is my work. <laughs> my work. You guys seem, my to, work. <laughs> you guys seem to love this. I, I was cracking the fuck up during this whole scene. I, this was fantastic. This also, guy, especially since it was like. It literally looks like they put it through a shredder. Yeah. Really, really. Like, if like, somebody were to do this by hand, it would have taken them a long I'm sorry. This guy's <laughs> traveling around writing a book and bringing the entire, the entire, entire of, amount yeah. of his research with him everywhere he goes. Yeah, as paper. Yeah, that seems <laughs> no, that, like a terrible yeah. idea. Yeah, can we yeah. have laptops in 2000? Yeah. She's like, yeah. we backed yeah. it up. Something. Well, she said we backed it We backed it up in the computer. He's like, you know, that's just notes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has, he has, hand wrote it. Hand yeah. typed, he typed it out. He has yeah. very soap opera delivery. Yeah, yeah. But is, okay, everyone's delivery is kind of even uh, Carrie Bradshaw was writing on a laptop at this point in time, and yes. she was reluctant to do it for seasons on that show. So, like, yeah. they were this the fact that this guy brings the file boxes of all of his research this book lot. everywhere he goes is that's, fucking insane. That's too much, but <laughs> it leads to a funny scene, though. So, I'm okay it with does. it. We yeah. are. He's not backed up. Or yep. he's too backed up. And the or cameras knows, are smashed. He's backed up. Uh, uh, yeah, everything's broken. Everything's broken. Things yeah. are gone. Um, yeah, everything's been trashed. And so they, and their assumption hours. is that either one of them like trashed everything while they were all blacked out, or the other campers came back somehow magically while they were sleeping and destroyed everything. Mm-hmm. So we're like, ha, supernatural shenanigans are afoot. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I think the clairvoyant goth girl says, but the tapes are still here mm-hmm. and they're hidden in the exact same spot where the Blair Witch footage was found. Yes. So they take these tapes and they're going to go back to Jeff's 
pre Civil War closed down factory <laughs> that he bought for a dollar and is now converted into the most awesome fucking loft in the history of horror movies. I mean, I yeah. truly, yeah, awesome loft. Yeah, it he has can a house drawbridge. like six people, no problem. Yeah, it's, it has a drawbridge <laughs> yeah. and has it's like a slash a warehouse for his eBay business. I was wondering how he got all this stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. eBay was like a new thing. It was. Yep. I remember specifically at the time going like, oh, they're calling out. Yeah, I'm a big <laughs> player on eBay. You know, I'm yeah. like, okay, I got you. I know, I know where we're at. Uh, yeah, because that's his main business, I guess, yeah. right? Like selling all sorts of... Uh, Stolen you know, goods. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so they're going to go back there and piece together the footage in order to figure out what in the hell actually occurred. Who ruined their stuff? This is the hook of the movie. Mm -hmm. Who destroyed their stuff? Was mm -hmm. it which? It's the hook of the movie, and then we get to see what an editor's job is for the next 45 <laughs> minutes. Oh my movie. god, this was triggering at certain parts. What an editor do in his life? This is it. Oh, I, I, so, Reverse the footage. Go back a few frames. I hate like fake movie tech talk. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it because it I, sounds well, so cringy and bad. I find it more hilarious bad. now. Yeah. Well, I don't know because like, no, because I've, had, I've felt the real world consequences of this kind of bullshit. <laughs> do you know how many people out there actually think the CSI like enhance a video, enhance a oh thing? Oh my god. Exist. That's uh, what people think technology is. Yes, there. and it's like, no, that's doing damage to our society by spreading that rumor around. So I'm not for this kind of tech propaganda. Right, this is why people come and go, can't you CSI this shit? Yeah, like, exactly. Like, it yeah. It's like, no, yeah. no. And Let me re-digitize the footage so I can blow it up <laughs> and sharpen it. You know? oh, that's that's almost word for word. Yeah. <laughs> We're working with mini DV here. Yeah. Do you know how many we times only I've, go so far. Do you know how many times I've said to someone in my career, you can't just create more pixels. Like, you just can't cr create more pixels to make an image higher resolution that's not how it works like and stretching it doesn't do that and hence. it's but even oh there, my you're god talking yeah. a foreign language they yeah. don't even know what that yeah. means no no more pixels you can't create we a digitize pixel? yeah what are you talking it would have been great if he was just like we need more pixels oh, yeah. and then he runs away to go do something yeah <laughs> um so I love the, how people talk about technology before we fully understand. It's, yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. They just gotta hit their but do they over still it? do that shit? Like I said, those CSI shows and stuff, they're always doing the enhance, pull, uh, zoom yeah. in, Everyone, bullshit. And, yeah. and, uh, some people who ever watched the TV show The Newsroom, the Aaron Sorkin mm -hmm. one, just the uh, technical directing in the uh, director's booth and everything, people have had a good laugh at yeah. that, too. Just like, gotcha. Where did, oh, bring it up on switcher number three. It's just like, ah, it's not, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but... To its credit, Blair Witch 2 actually might be one of the best movies at recreating uh, footage because they actually get real or like news footage. Yeah. yeah. Get... Oh, yeah. Kurt Loder is the first person in this oh, movie. Yeah. Starring Kurt Loder. This yeah. Movie. But yeah. It also like, yeah, because I, uh, I mean, uh, Colin and I always have a complaint about how uh, news reporters and news footage is incorporated into movies and how usually nobody gets it right because nobody knows. I love when you guys nitpick Nobody knows the shit. tone. <laughs> nobody knows what somebody would say. They got it right in this movie. It's helpful that all the anchors and reporters are actual anchors and That's reporters. Why. Yeah. That's yeah. why. Yeah, you get they know <laughs> right. They know how they to probably speak rewrote it. it for their own like this is how it actually sounds. Right. Yeah. Oh, but I would gar I would tell them to do that. Plus they got yeah. notebooks in their hand as the reporting stuff like they're doing it right, which thank God in this. <laughs> mm -hmm. But coming from the guy who has probably watched thousands of hours of of tv footage and news footage mm -hmm. yeah like that's yeah, I, I would play to his strength there. yeah i was okay. gonna say i would hope he'd get it right mm -hmm. so yes. uh, now get uh, now uh correct me if i'm wrong but then we Will enter do. into the the second act of this movie the mm -hmm. longest part of this movie and it just seems like at this point we just start throwing spooky shit in like without rhyme or reason what are you talking like, about, about talking about little backwards walking girls <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which felt right out of uh, uh, 13 Ghosts yeah, yeah, like, it, yeah. I it turned it. I into a this. horror movie at a certain point mm -hmm. like, we got, uh, no subtlety to any no. of this stuff it's just <laughs> well let me see if I can narrow down like okay so what's the important stuff here so Tristan yes. uh, mm -hmm. we find out was preg is pregnant mm -hmm. she suffers a miscarriage and is then kind of laid up and there's a whole like drama about like her medical condition and like yeah should you get her to a doctor so I guess they're coming from the doctor they took her to a doctor to the and then they go back yeah. uh, to his house effects. there's like because I was like why are all these people still here why are they like what was their plan coming on this Blair Witch tour like were they going to leave the next day were they going to stay at a hotel what were they going to do mm -hmm. I mean obviously there's going to be some camping in the woods but then they all just stay at Jeff's place and then it was like we're going to go we're going to catch a flight and she's like I'm not ready yet and like that's going to explain why nobody's ejecting themselves from the movie uh, yeah. like why don't you get a car and like leave well we solved that one because Kim takes the car to the uh hillbilly uh like grocery store <laughs> yes where all the locals and this is again i think joe berlinger like you know looking at the people 
in his these are caricatures of the people in his Paradise Lost yes. uh, yeah. you know, movie. This yes. is the For locals sure. who are turned against the outsiders. Mm-hmm. Yes. There's a cameo by the actor who plays Rustin Parr in the uh, Curse of the Blair Witch uh, is that movie. Him? That that's is him, him on that because he says the mm-hmm. line like "I'm I'm finished now." Right, because that's what, what he, he said, said in the courtroom when he came out. That's from the first movie, right? Yeah. He came out and said "I'm finished now," and people didn't know what that meant. Yeah, yeah I that's forgot him. About that. uh, so it's like is he a ghost? I don't know. The whole town I'm seems like now. from 1963. <laughs> Because they have ancient uh, cash registers, and yeah. so maybe oh, they yeah. are it's like a right? western. Maybe they are in a, in a time, time warp. warp in the town is actually. Maybe. I like how this is all coming together more and more. Yeah, and so slowly but surely, the characters eventually start to think that there's some kind of supernatural shenanigans. They brought something back with them. They're they say marked up on their. Yeah, we brought something back from. Where the did woods. you go? You didn't go anywhere to bring something back with you. Yeah, what happened to us in those missing hours, and uh, then all of a sudden we get the introduction of the Sheriff Chambers into the movie. <laughs> the Sheriff. I, I got no words, man. I'm just like, this guy. Talking about Cravens? Cravens. Yes. Oh, sorry, Chambers. Cravens. Yes. Right. Cra- yeah. Cravens. Sheriff Cravens, who you guys also <laughs> liked a lot. He was... He Some of the lines he, he said. He was scenery. My God, yeah. this guy. He's this foghorn leghorn motherfucker. What is this? <laughs> what is this like... He- like he's even got like the bolo tie on yeah. and the mustache. He's got the whole southern lawyer he's got look a nice going down. Chip in both front teeth. Yeah, yeah. I'm tra- I've been trying to remember the line that we were laughing at so much. Yeah, there was what a was couple it? of them, it's, but it, it, it was, it was in the interrogation room for yeah. something. I don't remember, but yeah. he delivers yeah. a line. It was a line that had me cracking up. Uh, yeah, I wish I could remember them. Yeah. It's his delivery is like you know you're supposed to be like okay, so this is taking place in like the real world, right? Yeah. Um, but this guy is like terribly miscast. I thought it breaks the reality. I remember sitting there in the theater and that scene where he's like, turn on the TV right now. <laughs> Watch me on. The, and then like they like, turn on. Oh, me. and he's waving. What was that? <laughs> People were losing their minds. They thought funny. that was so hilarious. Like the whole so audience did we? is That's like, yeah, so funny. it was like a Truman show gag happening yeah. in the yeah. middle of this yeah. movie. I'm guessing not, not the intention of the filmmakers. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And the way he was interrogating him in the in the um in the police station, and Michaela was like, "When did this become a western?" Yeah, <laughs> because even Jeff Donovan was speaking with like a southern accent yeah. at that point. I was like, "What is happening?" His name's uh, Lanny. What was it, Felders or for, 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 for yep, sure. or something like that? But he was in Signs. You he saw him in Signs. signs. Who yeah. was he in Signs? He, he was, was uh, the guy talking about the, the, the soda, soda commercials. commercials. <laughs> <Yeah>. Fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like okay, but I mean, I I seriously do think like this guy's casting in this movie like totally took you out of it. Warps the whole like the tone of it because he's just this like bulldog sheriff, you know, right. who's trying to been. Trying to pin something on this kid, Jeff, since he was 10, you know? Yeah, like he he's been yeah. there for a long back time. Back in the insane asylum and the psycho ward. Yeah, because yeah. isn't this supposed to be, like, is it Maryland or? Yeah. Supposed to Burkittsville, be? Maryland. Maryland. Yeah. Burkittsville, Maryland. Yeah, that's why Every, I'm like, like most yes. people in this are Southern. Yeah, it, it's, <laughs> it's so yeah, weird. Yeah, it's strange. It Maryland. It's weird. <laughs> yeah. Or he's got like he's a cowboy a... hat and a ponytail and a bolo tie. Like, yeah. Like, what is yeah. this? Oh, that's he's he is specifically cast to resemble a character from the Paradise Lost documentaries. Oh, well, oh, I, I know well, who that is. Okay. And you know which character yeah. or which. Yeah. He's purposely cast to resemble uh, that. For, yeah. yeah. No, I, mean, in, I don't one like of the this. major <laughs> suspects. <laughs> that of... makes that makes sense. But it doesn't work. Yeah. No, <laughs> right. no, no, I agree. It doesn't. It torpedoes. I thought yeah. like the, any kind of. Well, I was it takes say the reality. It depends what you want from the movie i think because it can add to it but it depends on you know i think it may it may depend on how many times you've seen this movie and how you feel about it and like, how seriously well, yeah, you like, take it does it work no is it hilarious yes it is hilarious yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. so if that was so, what they were trying to do it's just so jarring c- considering the first movie and then the tone of this yeah, like right. it's yeah, just sure. there's, it's like we're gonna sell it's you like, a ticket wow. <laughs> <I'm> wow. <sheriff. laughs> yeah <laughs> It's like, let's um, take the Blair Witch, but make it sexy and funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're probably going to end up glossing over a lot of stuff. They put here, Randy Quaid in it, which is. Yeah. Or, I mean, yeah. yeah. Um, but. Uh, oh, yeah. We'll gloss over a lot of stuff in this. Well, point. there's, you know, they start to begin to suspect. This paranoia. That, well, I guess the, the idea is that the other tour group is found murdered on Coffin Rock. Yeah. Right. 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 And so then this group is now the suspects in the murder. Mm-hmm. And so then there's paranoia and infighting amongst them all. 
uh, the witch girl, Wiccan girl, Erica loses yeah. her fucking mind yeah. and is like praying to Persephone. Well, because they they, yeah. they slow down the footage and find that she's like naked and twirling around a tree, yeah. which has which it was the tree that they saw earlier, but now it's like a baby tree. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah. so we've yeah. gone back in time. Yeah, and this is a crime. To be swirling around a tree right, naked is a crime. Right, because that means she did everything like, else. Kayla, this is yes. not a crime. <laughs> this movie, <laughs> with the puritanical views of this movie, it is a crime. Well, because they say just... she must have done everything. Look, she's on the video naked. Look, yes. she's naked on video. And yes. she's and a all witch. All of a sudden, you're, you're uh, <laughs> capable of doing anything. Well, yeah. because she's a witch, and she's been True. putting spells down the whole time. She's been asking permission of... Uh, <laughs> May I take this leaf? <laughs> of yeah, thank plants you. Or, yeah. <laughs> So she's just weird. So of course it's like she's doing everything. She's hexed us I in think some what, way. I, I think one of my favorite parts that just really explains this movie is when one of them reveals like, "But I've got these runes like burned into my skin," and yeah. someone else is like, "Well, so do I. What does that matter?" <laughs> yeah. like, that matters a great deal, buddy. They're like, "Oh, it's a rash," and there's like no K's and yeah. L's and alphabets. Yeah. It's just and like you guys should look at this more. Like, oh, that's yeah. nothing. No, it kind of is everything. Uh, yeah, it's poison soup. What are you talking yeah. no. about? Not at all. Yeah, the way they brush this off yeah. multiple times is wild. Yeah. You psychos. <laughs> yeah. Their transportation's ruined in the scene uh, where they try to go to the the, the, the little mart. Right. Well, right. Kim yeah, goes a, to the store. And yeah. she has a run in with Peggy. Yeah, yep. the cashier, yeah. which they both get real aggro for no reason with each other. But they really yeah, do. but everyone's kind of weird and aggro. Oh, there's yeah. the it one, makes, it there's makes one sense later. Yeah. There's one lady who just keeps throwing devil ham into her cart and, and driving into people. What was that? That character, that felt like some... They're oh caricatures. So, yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, but they like, don't feel real. Yeah, I don't exactly. know if that was his intention. No, it was like... The, I, th- I feel like it's another one of those where, like, she is someone that he saw during his making his documentary making. And I'm like, we're not in on the joke, dude. Yeah. yeah. What I the fuck yeah. was that? But again, I, I'm still having a problem, like, trying to justify this. If this is... You're caricaturing the people who are accusing... But then you're actually saying that the people who are accused did it because I guess that's the, the where we're going with right. this, right? Is that they do eventually use black magic, apparently, by performing because somebody at some point, I love this, when you have this leap of logic that unlocks the entire movie, <laughs> which is like, it's backwards. <laughs> there is, oh there is uh, Kim, the, the goth in this. She's like, backwards. Backwards, run it backwards. He's like, "Where did you come up with that?" Yeah. <laughs> because uh, Tristan says it. yeah, Tristan starts talking backwards. Uh, but we skipped over, over a big thing. These things out of nowhere, okay. which is all, which I feel like is a lot of the dialogue in this. We got to talk about Tristan and Steven because we skipped over a big story of theirs. Tell us, uh, what she's you feel. pregnant, six weeks pregnant, so she just found out for the first time because yeah. that's what and- your period's two weeks late, three mm-hmm. weeks late. Like that's sure. that's so early for her to you know anything, but um. And he knows as well. And he yeah. knows, and she doesn't want to keep it, and he does. So that and so what the do they do? Decide them. to have a fucking. So party she drinks all night. night. Blackout, party, party. Yes. blackout. Yeah. Like so we're gonna make this decision tonight. Yep. And yep. there should there should probably be a trigger warning on this. Yeah, maybe. yeah. Maybe a it's uh, <laughs> she. Yeah, she she miscarries. I mean, maybe that's just me, but yeah. <laughs> she miscarries. She has violent visions about the baby that are. Pretty upsetting, and I'm like, why is this in my Blair Witch movie? Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Why is we getting so heavy and uh, like? Because we got to set up tensions. We got to start to fray the like the the relationships between these the couple, yeah. right, and pit them against yeah. each other. What are they going to be pitted against each other for? It's about the kid, and then I think uh, as things go on, right, like she starts to manifest having dreams. She about- has. She yeah. says she has Ellie Kedward's dreams. Yeah. She's this having is, dreams of the witch. This is a screenwriting problem I have with a lot of things, not just this. But Holly, I think you and I have talked about this before about why do writers not know how to write conflict between a couple that isn't something insanely catastrophic? Yeah, like it's always got to be just like minor. Just make it. Oh, a normal relationships have conflict, like all the time. All the time. Yeah. It's but like on Gilmore Girls, they brought in a secret kid he didn't know existed. Like that's the relationship conflict. They always go nuclear with it. Yeah. It's like yeah, no, right. just, <laughs> just they, like why? They want to get that yeah. that, that. This is nuclear too. Soap like shot. Yeah, you deliver it, and they're just like yeah. And it's like normal. And they hold on for five yeah. minutes, right. and they slowly. I mean, I feel like they already had it built in. Like he's obsessed with his work. There you go. Yeah. There's your yeah, conflict. Exactly. And now that, like, if you watch right. and things. And it gets destroyed and something happens to right. it. Right. Right. Like, just stay, just stick with that. It, as you watch movies and TV, and you, especially if there's a lot of will they or won't they, and then they do finally get together, 
next season there will be something that inevitably blows them oh, up. Yeah. Like, oh. and but the more you notice the pattern, the more you'll see it everywhere. You're like, oh, they really just bring in a secret sibling or a secret something or another and blow up the whole family. Drama. Like, yeah. yeah. So oh, it's yeah. a nuclear option. Always I, nuclear. I guess for drama. Yeah. But yeah, sure. so we're saying it's a trope because we've like seen it so many goddamn times. And this movie yes. doesn't and need it. Feels it. Kind of yeah. Crazy. No, it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't Not at all. Yeah. Um. So the group, like I think Erica goes missing. We don't know exactly yeah. what the fuck's going on. Yeah. We last saw her. She literally like on the floor, vanishes because it's gone. just her clothes that are left behind. Right. Yep. And so then eventually the group begins to suspect that Tristan having the dreams of Ellie Kedward is actually the witch. Or no, I guess the thing that they the thing that they do through this reverse stuff is like perform the keystrokes backwards on the and uh, you know, run the tapes backwards. If, How can I and if run the keystrokes backwards? And you're like, is that like a spell? Like it's gibberish we- unless it's gibberish unless you know unless you know what the character knows at that point. Like telling them to r- do the keystrokes backwards, it doesn't. It like there's nothing to that. It doesn't come it's, off like he's that they're, 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 they're doing a spell. And I guess that's no. the only thing that if I could it sh- think. If it should be, yeah. it's not coming off that you way. You do it in reverse and it somehow unlocks five hours worth of footage on these tapes. And what do we see on these recordings? We see the uh, happenings of the night before, the missing like four hours. We see that they hedonism. Had. Hedonism. Yeah. Yes, we do. Because, <laughs> damn it, we're here for a witch movie. And so we right. get a witch movie. So we see orgies and... Uh, and uh, Drinking and... Drinking and not necessarily sacrifices, but we see... Like, uh, you know, uh, it's just a lot of nudity. Honestly, I think that it's is a lot of goes. like naked gyrating on like statues and yes. stuff. Yeah. Like, like, I'm going to put a skull like, Ooh, right look how satanic it is. Yeah. yeah. I think, yeah. I think it, that's it. There's yeah. a lot of naked gyrating. No, yeah. Yeah. That's and they all hours. seem to have that sex way. with each other. Yeah. And then eventually. Which is a good way to spend five hours. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean, you know, and without. They're like the... bowing before Tristan. Yeah. Yeah. Because she has assumed the role. She's in black and is like the witch. And they all have a blade at one point, which assumes that they're the ones that did their own runes on their skin yes. yeah where they carved it into her plus and then she's seen the going go go it yes. sends them out into the night where they descend upon these sleeping campers after they've ripped up all the research yep. yeah destroyed yes. all yes. their stuff like, i love him taking a bite of his own research with his mouth <laughs> that's fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. i fucking laughed at that <laughs> that was fantastic it was hilarious so they're in the work. this yeah. is them in the thrall of they're all possessed or yeah. something or they're whatever. all spell yeah. and so they go forth they murder the hell out of these other uh campers and then they uh put their clothes on lie back down and then uh <laughs> yes uh, get perfectly dressed and yep. lie back down um and i guess uh so then it's like you know they're like well we've been bewitched and we've been bewitched by her she's the witch and so they uh threaten tristan and yeah. wrap a uh, quarter or she does it well she in within the movie again this is the difference between video and the 35 millimeter within this she is very she's acting very um possessed by the witch or very with the witch at this point and so she's saying stuff about the witch and all she's that. taunting them yeah she, she's taunting them. kill me if you wanted to and blah 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 yeah blah, blah. and they end up on a i mean there's metal stairs that go up to uh, uh whatchamacallit catwalk catwalks and all that stuff and so she she's taunting them she wraps a rope around her neck and everything and then she in the movie jumps off no, he pushes. No, he pushes her. Her. Does he push her? Yeah. yeah. Oh, because she is the she witch. She was like, "Then do it." Yeah. And then she okay. tells him that he's small and he's like right. a pussy, basically, and yeah. he pushes her. Yeah. Pushes her off. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But Jeff's been recording the thing the whole time, trying yes. to get her to confess. Confess. Just say it. Say it was you. You know. They find Erica dead. I think in a closet. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so she's been murdered by somebody. Of course, nobody goes to the cops because they're all wanted suspects at this point. Like, uh, uh, mm-hmm. not yep. Chambers. What's his name? Craven. Cravens. Cravens. I should remember that. You like should West remember Craven. that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Cravens. Is, uh, he's at this point, he has been like, y'all are wanted. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Do not leave my county. <laughs> <laughs> that is that character. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so then they're all hauled into the police station where they're like, well, this you part know. also based on um, was done very well. I think the whole arrest and yeah, I think leading the people, third act leading people into again, the police like, station. Yeah. But that's where he, Joe Berlinger, because he's seen that happen so many times on yeah. TV, he's able to recreate it in such a real looking the perp way. walk. Yeah, yeah. They all get that's in good. there, and then individually they're shown video because yeah. they basically say because we're down to we're down to Jeff and Stephen, Stephen and um, Kim. Kim, goth yeah. girl, yeah. yes. And Kim, 
they show her a video of her, her the interaction that she had with Polly, the worker at the convenience Peggy. store. Peggy. Peggy. She actually stabbed her to death. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. But doesn't remember this, right? The video shows her stabbing her to death, but in the yeah. movie showed and her. And we've also le- seen that what we thought was a completely trashed van it's perfectly fine. Right. So you can't <laughs> trust reality. It just right. warps from it's, scene it's to like scene. It's like the Quaalude scene from The Wolf of Wall Street. Like, he drives it home. It's perfectly fine. I go the next morning, what did you do? <laughs> Trashed. <laughs> but backwards. But backwards, yes. Because everything everything's backwards. backwards. Everything's backwards. <laughs> S River. Reverse. Right. Oh, yeah. We'll have to get into that, too. But okay. So before we do the wrap up the movie, then uh, they uh, so it's revealed that in the video footage, which now the cops have access to all this stuff of them doing the murders. Yes. But they also have the murder of Tristan, which plays out completely different with her begging for her life and them all going, you're the witch, you know, confess to being the witch. And then they like actually push her off. the. And we see on the tapes that Jeff actually killed Erica. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, because he he's moving the body and he's play, placing yeah. the clothes. So each one of them has killed somebody. Yes. Yeah. All apparently under the sway of black magic. So the uh, yes. moral of the story is... Stay out of the fucking woods. Is that what it is? Don't go, don't go messing with the occult because it can mess with you. Is there a moral to this story? I don't know. I like don't go in the woods. Yeah, that's fine. I think that's a general one where mm-hmm. we can just be like, nothing yeah, good yeah. happened to anyone that nothing went in the woods. Good, <laughs> nothing no. good. Name one good thing. Um, yeah, that's what I thought. Well, I mean, people. Hey, man, I just watched good. the ruins. I know nothing good happens out there. The jungle, the woods. It's not good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So it's a, it's one of those endings where you're like, oh man, oh, yeah, these people the, are all screwed. The, the ending, they didn't do it, but they think they didn't. Did they do it, or is the video lying? Or we don't know. Because I don't know. The, but the ending is is uh, Tristan being thrown off of and hanging yourself and it's steven going that's not fucking true somebody yeah. fucked with this tape and it's a pretty good performance mm-hmm. is he like yeah. foams up yeah yeah he yeah, never worked his, again his oh, whole, i don't know this his whole thesis was no, it is it hysteria or is it real mm-hmm. yeah we don't know that's Cut how the credits. movie ends yeah. <laughs> exactly yeah um as the secrets of Esther, what are you talking secrets about secrets of Esther. when this movie came out on vhs i was a big fan of it because it came with a special feature that I thought was very novel at the time, which was, and I'm going to read it from the back because we have some uh, stuff on here. The secret of Esserver hidden within the file within oh, Jesus hidden within this film are mysterious and haunting images not easily seen by the naked eye to reveal the secret of Esserver. You must select secret of Esserver from the DVD menus for specific instructions. When the special feature ends while your DVD player is still playing, Hit the reverse button and watch as clues are revealed. Yeah, it's very goofy. It's like a special feature that you watch. Go back and find the movie and find the hidden hidden images if you dare. And guess what? There's hidden images in the movie. Well, there aren't, though. There are. Not, okay. Only specifically for the VHS and DVD um, releases. This was not in the original movie. This was added later as a special feature. But... If at that moment and you watch this special feature and you do reverse the movie, you get specific images in the movie that are revealed, like pentagrams on uh, uh, drawer knobs, or mm-hmm. there's a face on a door that mm-hmm. gets opened and whatnot. And there's uh, letters rotating at the bottom right corner of the screen, where if you reverse them, you see the white letters. They spell words, and they those words tell you where to go in the movie. So you can see all these scenes, and I think it leads up to just d- uh, deleted scenes or an online. Yeah, thing. this is back in the day when DVDs and Blu-rays would have like hidden buttons. Yes, yes. remember the a, hidden menus? Yeah, you got to go up, up, and then yeah. over to the right, <laughs> yeah. and suddenly the, the demon's eye illuminates, <laughs> yeah, and that's an yeah, option yeah, on yeah. the menu. Yeah. I miss that shit. <laughs> oh, and this, so this fun. one has it, and the score. And the score, because I got the DVD CD combo. Yeah, I think that was the only way you could yeah. get it. I think That's so, it but it, I mean, it comes. This, this soundtrack is so 1999. 90s, so, yeah. it's very so much. So. Two Nickelback songs, right? Uh, <laughs> nice well, he might, one. the singer might be. So we got uh, Marilyn Manson, mm-hmm. Rob Zombie, System of a Down, uh, P.O.D., Tommy Ione, featuring Dave Grohl. Wow. Godhead, Nickelback. 
and some other Queens of the Stone Age. That's everything I ever listened to. Haven't in the 90s. heard of before, but yeah, I mean, this was like <laughs> that is pure it feels 90s. like it was one of the last like uh, big movie soundtrack tie-ins. I it think could so. Be wrong. Around that time, because 2000 still did. I mean, like um, I bring it up again, Scream Three did it something? as well. Had a big soundtrack release. Creed was obviously on it and everything. So. That was oh, a big like Post Human Records. Who's that? Is that? Oh, uh, I don't know. There were a lot of record labels that yeah. do not lo- no longer exist. Yeah, I don't know who that was. Uh, was that Manson? That might have been actually Marilyn. One of Marilyn what was Manson's it first like acquisitions was Godhead. Mm-hmm. I think like he right? signed them or something like that. Yeah, Godhead. Uh, yeah. So that's uh, Blair Witch Two. We're going to tell you whether Book or not of Shadow. B- Book of Shadows. Blair What's Witch a Book two? of Shadows? The Book of Shadows. I think is mentioned. No. I don't no. even think it's it mentioned mean in this movie. It is mentioned once. Um, when she talks about Does yep. Tristan talk about it? Tristan talks okay. about it with That's Steve. What I thought. She mentioned it one briefly, time. And Brief. I was like, where's my book? Yeah. You it, promised me a book. It really is like Book of Shadows. There is a mere mention of Book of Shadows in this movie. Why couldn't that, that be it. the title of his book? Right, Book of Shadows. Yeah. Book of Shadows is, in any I way, guess, yeah. every witch's personal diary is their book, is of, their book yeah. of shadows. Yes. <laughs> Sean, is that your file? Is that what you're going to call your file on yourself? Book of your shadows? Book of shadows? Yeah. Book of shadows. I mean, I'm going to make it. Is that what you want to call it? No. Incorporate no, I'm, it. I'm going to put it in there. Incorporate it somehow. It's going to be an Easter egg. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Incorporate yeah. it somehow. The secret menu. Yeah. Maybe <gasps> it's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You can't file. add secret menus in real life, Michaela. We've a, discussed this before. A file within a file. Yeah. I was like, I was like Ooh, I'm pretty files. sure you can, yeah. All right. Well, we're going to tell you whether or not Spending we would recommend that you watch Book of Shadows Blair Witch 2 or not. So you'll have to stick with us. But first, we're going to read some of your mail. And in order to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman, Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Igor has definitely lost five hour chunks of time and not known <laughs> where they've we gone. All gone. I mean, yes. Haven't we all? I don't think I killed anybody while I was out. No, Igor no. Definitely, <laughs> Igor definitely did. He was definitely involved in an orgy. I think that's where he got one of his body parts. <laughs> <laughs> no, for me, it's I sit down on the couch after doing something and wake up five hours later and like the lights are all still You're on. Like, ah! I have shoes on. I'm like, oh, God, that's me. I hope I didn't kill anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it wasn't possessed. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> You're checking your, under your fingernails like, nope, no, nope, no evidence there. Yeah. That was, right. me all, that was me all weekend, just napped. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, shit, there's my weekend. <laughs> what was I doing last? Yeah. Yeah, how many days have passed? Yeah, that's what it feels like when you wake up from is a nap. Is it Sunday? Yeah. <sighs> Day is it. All right, well, we should let the good folks at home know how they can get a hold of us by following along on uh, Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. Or they can email us directly. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show about Book of Shadows, Blair Witch 2, mm. Millitime writes in. And says, I haven't seen it, but I do have the soundtrack on CD back when those were a thing. (laughs) Would I be wrong in guessing the soundtrack is better than the film? Or should I see the first one before I dive in? What? You have, okay, sir, you have a lot of questions (laughs) and a lot of revelations in your comments. Yeah, watch the first (laughs) one. Go watch the first one and then watch this one. That's all I can tell you. I feel like you need some (laughs) self-discovery. Should should they watch this one? We don't know. Yeah, we can't. Spoilers. If you're gonna okay. Wa- okay, if you're gonna watch this, if you're if gonna you're watch this, the game, watch the first one first. Okay, yeah. There if you you're go. gonna, yeah, you got to go to the first one first. Otherwise, what are you, you just watching skip this one? 2016 altogether. So yeah. don't, don't even bother with that one. Yes. Oh. All right. Uh, Adam Kaler says the question to the answer that is Book of Shadows, Blair Witch Two is how do you say rush to theaters, subpar acting, bizarre continuity, and smells of lilac without saying rush to theaters, subpar acting, bizarre <laughs> continuity, and smells of lilac. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know if you yeah. can. I love Layla. Uh, Michael it's Whitaker beautiful. says, oh, no, this movie doesn't make a lick of sense, which is too bad because I agree with the thought that they shouldn't have have to do a found footage movie as a sequel. They established the lore and everything, and a straight-ahead movie should work in theory, but they botched this one pretty hard. If, it's a good observation. I, I wonder if they didn't know to go straight narrative and or straight found footage, and they just... Like, we'll do both. We'll do a meta movie. Yeah, yeah it has both. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was their big... Uh, we'll do, yeah, found footage inside. Yes. Uh, Travis Legler says, okay, I love sequels. However, this series I could never get into. I keep falling asleep during the first film. The second one, I've, 
I have seen all the way through, though, and I just kept thinking the making of this movie was like the making of Jaws the Revenge. They thought they had a good idea with character development, but really didn't have anything worth the time to shoot. No one in the cast here got to build a nice house for doing this movie. I hope you all had a better time <laughs> yeah, watching true. it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, maybe they did. Who knows? Uh, Steve Carney says, oof, this movie was a did not finish for me. <laughs> However, I got a really good laugh out of the southern sounding sheriff in the beginning saying, there ain't no goddamn Blair Witch. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> uh, Neil Gum says, so the plan was to alienate fans of the first film's style, but somehow lure in those who weren't interested in a snot cam the first time around? Yeah. I'm Basically. not Pretty sure much. that leaves you much of an audience. the meeting. That was the board meeting that was had. <laughs> yep. that was, those were the names of the Venn diagram circle. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Chris Keenan says, I feel like I'm the only one who absolutely enjoys this movie. I was at the right age as far as Blair Witch to uh, blow me away, and I was encompassed in all the lore until I found it. It was all marketing. I thought it had a killer soundtrack at the time, the MVP song being the feel-good hit of the summer by Queens of the Stone Age. Mm -hmm. Mm. I think that's the one that they play during the uh, the orgy, the sex, uh, drugs, alcohol song. Yes. yes. Uh, last week we watched a movie called The Strange Vice of Mrs. Ward. Karate Warrior 2 says it's definitely oh. a Colin pick, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it kind of sounds like you're complaining, <laughs> so, Dom. So, uh, Brian Nielsen says, as much as I like this movie, I got to call BS on the glass sandwich. That would have turned them into hamburger, and the subsequent yep. surgeries would have bankrupted both of them. <laughs> he were probably a lot of scarring. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. How do you explain that to your yep. significant uh, other? Do, like after the, do they have nationalized health care in Italy? Maybe they would get that shit covered. I mean, right? maybe it wouldn't bankrupt them. What happened to you? Well, my lover, <laughs> my lover smushed against me while we had glass between us. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like glass glass I feel like in Italy they'd just be like, "Well, my lover, enough said." Yeah. 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 Ah, yes. yes. <laughs> Uh, well, Brian, Brian also <laughs> says that Igor probably tried that, and it certainly explains the bad leg and limping gait. Uh, <laughs> Igor's the, tried a lot. I think he eats glass. I think, I think he's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, he's Igor glass was eater. in the orgy scene in this movie. <laughs> um, I think the week before that, right, we watched yeah. The Ruins, and uh, Adam Kaler says, no safety rails, no warning signs, no burning the vines with fire. Somebody's got to get hit with a lawsuit. Everybody thinks the robots are going to take over, but it's going to be the plants. That's why <laughs> chia pets are everywhere. I found it funny that most of the ads that what that we saw while watching this was for farming equipment. <laughs> that is so funny. Uh, <laughs> you know, we missed the happening when we were talking about that movie. Yeah, we didn't mention the happening. We didn't mention yeah. it. Yeah, uh, chia pets. They are everywhere. They, they make, are, every, they make they everything. They used to make sense. <laughs> They, yes, don't they don't anymore. anymore. I saw a scream chia pet the I other day. Yeah, it just came out with scream chia pet. And it's pets. just like it's scream but growing an afro. Like they used to make <laughs> sense yeah. before. It's like, like it grew hair where yeah. the object grew like, hair. I had a Golden Girls one and it was the Golden Girls just all their hair. Was it a stone? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was all yeah. four of them. It was it all four of them be. together like a Mount Rushmore yeah. situation that with makes their hair. Sense. Yeah. Or like a Bob Ross A Bob Ross makes sense. Yeah, perfect. Absolutely. Yeah. Now it's Ghostface. Now yeah. it's Ghostface growing a fro. I think there's a Pennywise Jenna, one, too. Yeah, Jenna Ortega okay. has one, too. Oh. Bro. Uh, yeah, well. it makes no sense. Uh, and Richard Kratzer says, my my neck, my back my to these <laughs> vines, I'll be their snack. <laughs> my neck and my back. So apparently he's a fan <laughs> of, uh, what was that? <laughs> well, we can sell a lot of court right now yeah. for 20 bucks. That's Friday. That's yeah. All right. Well, we can't uh, quote the actual lyrics from that <laughs> no. song on this no, family no, friendly no, podcast. Uh, so now we're going to go around the table. Oh, thank you very much, all of you. Yeah, for yeah. Thank you for writing in. in. We, we love it. it. And now we go around the table and tell you what we thought of uh, tonight's movie. Oh, woo! boy. You can go first tonight. Yay! What'd you think of A Book of Shadows, Blair Witch 2? Um, you know what? I didn't hate it as much as I thought I would. Right? I really thought I was going to Sometimes hate it. that's a real positive thing. It for is. Me. Like, I, I, I think we were all kind of quiet watching it because I think we were kind of like into it. And I don't know if that means we liked it, but we were into it. Um, yeah, I didn't hate it as much as I thought I would. <laughs> as far as like sequels go, I just kept thinking, like, you know what? It's not great, but it's not like. An American Werewolf in Paris, bad. Ooh, you know, like, that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. That's bad. I've been on my list for a while. Me, bad. me too, but I can't yeah. bring myself to yeah. make you guys watch it. Right? <laughs> I'm like, it's not that bad. Um, mm. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to it's hard to follow up a movie like Blair Witch with this because mm. I mean, like like you were saying, I think they were trying to satisfy two audiences with this movie, and I think it doesn't really have an identity of its own. I think they're kind of confused of what they're doing. Um, I'm I'm so torn on this one because I'm like I don't I don't hate it. There's stuff that I, like I found entertaining, but at the same time, like it's not good. So 
Man, yeah, I'm. You know, I don't think I can good conscious. I can recommend it. Oh, we were so I, close. I'm so close. I'm like, yeah, you know, it's not terrible, but I shouldn't recommend a movie just because it's not terrible. So. True. It's like, well, it's not terrible. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's not. It's not as bad as as you think. If you ha- if you're gonna watch it, definitely make sure you've seen the first one first. Um, True. And you can totally skip the 2016. Don't bother. Uh. Yeah. Can't recommend it. Michaela, what you think? I, I agree with a lot of what you said, Holly. I, I'm kind of on the fence with this one, too, because I expected it to be worse in a different way, yeah. I guess. And it I didn't hate it as much as I thought. But, I, I mean, I think if you watch it as a comedy, it's hilarious. It's a great movie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you watch we it. We certainly enjoyed it yeah, that way. I think if you watch it as just a regular old 90s horror movie, it sort of sort of works. Not really. Yeah. But it's a terrible Blair Witch movie. Yeah. Right? It's an absolutely terrible Blair oh, Witch yeah. movie. That's the thing. And, like, what are we recommending? Yeah, about? yeah, right. exactly. And yeah. that's what it is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. So, like, yeah, I can't bend the rules and be like, well, if you watch it as a comedy and remove all context. No, that's not. You, that, no, you yeah. have to watch it as exactly. it is, you know, and accept it for what it is and what it's telling you it is. And, you know, I think that first movie is a fucking masterpiece. That's like yeah. my top 10, one of my favorite horror movies of all time. It's in there. It's. Um, it's just, oh, that was a real moment in time. And I'm, I'm sad for people who missed out on that, but, mm-hmm. and I don't think that, I mean, you, that was a perfect movie. So why make more, you know? And I get it made a shit ton of money, especially because it had such a small budget. So it's really tempting to just keep making this movie that same movie again. 47 million. What was the budget? Uh, probably around 30. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oof. Uh, uh, I, okay, I don't know the budget. I'm okay. just going to compare it to uh, Blair Witch made three hundred something million worldwide. This made forty seven. Yeah, yeah, nobody yeah. Nobody was interested no. in a second one, even right. knowing what it was. You know, you saw the ads, right? And <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And this movie, I find the like the the choppiness of the narrative language, mm-hmm. like the way it's jumping through time, the way it's cutting to flashbacks mm-hmm. and visions and all this stuff is really jarring for any movie, but especially considering how lo-fi and simple the original is, you yeah. know? It's just a huge shake up and I'm not comfortable with it and I didn't enjoy it. And I like the 90s stank that's on this movie. Oh, sure. oh, yeah. It's great. So sure. It is a good time capsule movie, but as a Blair Witch movie, it fails, so yep. I cannot recommend it. And because there was parts I enjoyed, but not in the way they wanted me to enjoy them. Like yes. they are not they're not intending for me to laugh at this movie, right? No. But no, there was times it felt movie. like I wasn't no, sure. This was yeah. you know? yeah. horror movie. Yep. But yeah. there were sometimes it felt like so cartoonish it felt like satire <laughs> yep. you know yep. and that's why i was like is this a satire movie i was like because if it was i think i might actually respect it right but you know it but it was not it it's oh man i feel like there was some really funny stuff we were pointing out that we forgot about but it'll come yeah. back to us you guys like if this the mailbag, had been but, like the drop dead gorgeous of blair witch yeah. movies i would have been all for exactly it. and there was moments where i was like is that what they're trying right. to do yeah. you know especially with like the guy writing the book and his wife there those two yeah. together wow they were in and a like different the, movie the in, yeah. like the introduction of like the townspeople at the beginning I'm yeah like, this yeah. is funny is it right. supposed to be funny right exactly I mean, yeah. yeah that well that is supposed, supposed to be a little humorous getting you into yeah right but if the whole movie was based Based on that tone, it would have I'd been like, all right, maybe right. I'm on board with this, right. but it wasn't. Right. And even like it, it, Willow Creek is kind of a similar movie that's like a, a found footage Bigfoot movie that it's terrible. And someday we'll talk about it on the freak show when I am ready to <laughs> unleash my rage for that movie. But it's that one like kind of plays with the ugly tourist thing too, in a way that is maybe more interesting, even though that movie I don't care for. But it's it's they all go for these same handful of narrow themes. And I was like, the first movie's perfect. It's perfect. Mm-hmm. What else can you say? It's perfect. Yeah. Colin, what do you think? Uh, I mean, there's some stuff that I like about this movie. And I, I did. I, I bought a copy of it. I have the soundtrack <laughs> album. I was all into the Blair Witch. And I was, you know, um, I think to its credit, the movie does start off strong. I think that is that first act is pretty decent. It writes you into a or get you into a situation, right? The setup is pretty good, and it's intriguing. I think a lot of that, you know, is uh, because the studio took it away from Joe Berlinger yeah. and cut it together in a way that, like, because maybe they were like, well, nothing's going on, so we're going to put flashes to the you know, foreshadowing, but that works. Yep. So, like, I was like, ooh, you know, like, what? What's going on? Even though you know it's like, okay, these kids are going to go out and kill somebody, and it's going to be the witch right. did it. This is a They're going to get accused yeah. of it, and, you know, it's pretty much a foregone uh, conclusion. So you're just going to go like, okay, so how does it actually pan out? Um, I like some of the people in it. I liked uh, the technical credits on the photography and the music. Carter Burwell banging yeah. rocks together, or whatever to make the <laughs> you know, and the sound of br- babbling brooks in his soundtrack. Okay, great. Um, 
but it has the same problem that I think, uh, and I did, I think I like the, uh, once things start, I think it's around the time that they kill, uh, Tristan that, you know, becomes, uh, engaging again. And then, you know, then, uh, there's the end, the wrap up. So that like third act, you know, somewhere in there, it's like, okay, we're kind of working again, but in between, and it's like a good, like 40 minutes. It's the majority of the movie just kind of feels like I have this problem with all like low rent, uh, ghost movies, uh, haunting movies where they, really they just do move into that area. They just they? start throwing supernatural, like, you know, the spooky dog shows up and then like, yeah. oh, there's something spooky over there. And then we got to, you know, it's the little girl that they. Yeah. This, I it mean, really that turns one, it into a like, what are yeah, we doing it's like, with what, that? Uh, and it's just all just like, well, you can't leave. You know, you have to keep it here. So it's like, OK, I get it. Yeah. You know, and it just kind of seems choppy and I don't feel thin. the forward momentum on it. And. A lot of it is like, what? You know, uh, you got to play it in reverse. Like, ah, uh, okay. Uh, he just pulled that one out of a hat. You know, yeah, yeah. To explain. A lot yeah. of people are explaining, like, uh, you know, who they are, what they think, especially Erica. It was just annoying. And the <laughs> uh, the sheriff, I couldn't, just couldn't handle him. Like, he, he ruined the fucking movie for me. Um, so, I uh, even though, like I said, I uh, enjoy it in some ways, I can't you know, recommend it to like, if you're like, I'm a fan of the Blair Witch, you know, should you see Blair Witch too? Like, well, it's better than Blair Witch, the third one, <laughs> you know, I'll give you that. Um, but I'm like, you don't need to actually watch this movie. A lot of you uh, chose not to. I think what it was, was actually, I think that massive popularity of the first one, mm. I really do think a good portion of the people who saw it thought it was real, did not like it. Oh, and that's why nobody came back for the second one. I think, I think, that I think you're that, onto something that with that. That would explain yeah. it because, I mean, as we've charted here, and especially with um, horror movies that have sequels or franchises, as they were, uh, you can see what people thought of the first one by who shows up for the second one yeah. and what it makes. And, yep. mm-hmm. and you're right. And this didn't do that. No, because mm-hmm. I think a lot of people saw it just because it was car- they were carried along on kind of a cultural uh, zeitgeist Yeah, this wave. didn't happen the next yeah, year. But so that that's wave where, is still going. Yeah, so that's where uh, Artisan didn't uh, get, they didn't actually figure, like, what was the exit polls on, on Blair Witch? Like, right. do people actually want to see more of it? Right, they just saw everyone being there yeah. and not mm-hmm. what they thought when they left. And most of the people who I found who actually do really like Blair Witch are like, you know, cinephiles. Yeah. Cinephiles like it because there's like a whole meta thing going on there about like how you, you know, the f- act of filming and filming documentaries and, you know, mm-hmm. looking to distancing yourself from an actual event by looking through a camera. And, right. You know, all this stuff. Uh, the second one doesn't have. I, yeah, I think uh, they were they should have stopped the first one. This is a mercenary sequel, a mercenary move. Uh, and so you should avoid the Blair Witch 2, Book of Shadows, or vice versa. Sean, <laughs> what do you think? You guys know me. You, you know, love sequels. You know I love sequels. <laughs> and I love sequels because of what they try to do. The areas that they try to explore either close to what the original was or very far away from what the original was. And I like the ideas that are explored in there. This Book of Shadows Blair Witch 2. I was um, bringing it tonight. I I didn't know how I was going to feel about it. It's been a a little bit since I watched this. But when it came out, I was a big fan of the Blair Witch lore, you know, at large. Like, I was really into it. It was one of the first... I would say like viral movies that I paid attention to where you heard stuff coming from the internet and you're just like, Oh, what is that? And you didn't know all the details of it, but there was a big, you know, big talk about it and you knew it was coming. And, um, so that whole thing, like I got deep into it reading books and whatnot. And so when this came out, I had a lot of fun with it, especially with, you know, as we talked about the secrets of Vesterver and just kind of the little kitschy, uh, home movie tricks they used to do with it. Um, I still watching it tonight. I still like this movie. I recognize everything you guys have said <laughs> about this movie, and I agree because especially we watched this movie and we laughed a lot because there's a lot of funny stuff in this movie, mm-hmm. and this movie is not a comedy, <laughs> but it is enjoyable to watch that way. And I think that despite even if you guys weren't here, there's 
there's I think it's still funny that way. There's a lot to scientifically. I think this is a fascinating movie as far as horror movies go. Um, and I think that's the basis on which I can recommend it. Um, cause I'm gonna, because I still like watching this movie and dissecting it for its little things and especially the era it came from. Um, is it, uh, it's nowhere as near as good as uh, Bl- the Blair Witch Project, obviously. And it feels like a completely different thing away from that. Um, but I still like it. And again, it's still better than Blair Witch from 2016. That's just a <laughs> unanimous, <laughs> unanimous. Yeah. but, um, yeah, I still like this movie. I think it's, uh, uh, it's an odd thing, but I, 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 I like, yeah, I like this movie still. And, uh, I'd recommend that you can still find something interesting about it within the Blair Witch universe um watching this so the, i'm gonna recommend it the poster looks like a godsmack t-shirt it does that is god <laughs> that's that's godsmack all the way right there <laughs> Guaranteed. i can hear it in my head right yeah. now uh, but uh, i'm a shot of jeffrey one. donovan right that's from a video still it is it's a it's, jeffrey donovan but it's it looks like it's been put on a uh, cross section of a, a tree. stump yeah. uh, a tree stump yeah, yeah. Where you can see the rings and all that stuff um yeah i still like this movie i still find it interesting um i still like and i still like watching it uh yeah I'm I'm gonna have to recommend it. St- I think it's still good. It's still a moment in time that is fun to revisit for me. So I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. All right. Book of Shadows, Blair Witch Two. There you go. There it is. The final word. <laughs> so next week we're gonna watch a movie that's chosen by Holly. Hmm. What are we doing next week? Well, oh. I yeah. I had I was gonna continue my theme. Oh. Um, last movie I picked was Hard Target. Oh, and I was like, "What if we just stay hard all season, all summer?" <laughs> oh, <laughs> so a stay hard summer. I don't know if we're gonna stay hard all summer, but we're gonna stay hard next week with uh, Hard to Kill. Yay! Right. Oh man, Steven Seagal's is finally coming. Is this Mason Storm? Mason it Storm. Is. Yeah. Storm. Right. <laughs> nice. Yeah. This is the one, like, this is the one that actually took off, right? Above the Law was first. Hard yeah. to Kill was the one that people were, that was that, that thing where, like, the the uh, anticipation was there. The yeah. second one was the one they hit. Yeah. It was Hard to All Kill. Right, so this is uh, Seagal's debut. This is the yeah. start of Holly's Hard Trilogy. Yeah. <laughs> or, at least, the, or at least the Freak Show's Hard Trilogy. All right. <laughs> staying Seagal. hard. Staying hard. Coming to the Saturday Night Freak Show at Long Saturday Night Freak Show will keep you hard. <laughs> <laughs> All summer long. All, All summer long. long. We'll keep you hard. Yeah. It's like Nick at Night. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we hope you'll uh, join us for that. And until then, the basement is going dark.